Ian, first win in League One on Saturday. That must have been a performance that really impressed you. Yeah, I think that was the biggest thing. The result was great, but I just think the performance that complemented it was um, very strong. I thought we created a lot of really good chances. And um, yeah, we, we had a setback in the game when, when they got the equaliser, but I thought we coped with it really well. And, and um, yeah, I thought we were, we were well deserving of it. And then obviously, you know, a team coming up from, from League Two into League One, how important is that first win, I guess, because you never know, you know, when it's going to come, really. I always say that it's uh, hard to play the newly promoted teams, and obviously we are one of those, um, but also when you go away, um, and, and because you know you meet a team with great enthusiasm and great energy, and, and of course we had it, but they, they also had it, you felt that in the first 20 minutes, the crowd was, was really lifting them up. Um, but we, we, we just managed the game really well, um, did, a, did a really, really good job. So yeah, overall I think it was important three points and uh, good to get off the mark, And, and uh, but now we look forward to the next one. What's that reaction been like in training as well? You know, everyone shows coming in this this week, you know, bounce are ready to go ahead of Ipswich, I, I bet. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you always, it's always better on a Monday after you've won, but um, we try to focus on the things that we did well and, um, and you know, we, we brought some characteristics of the team that we wanted to, to see. Um, we did that and, and then it's just up for us to do that again. I mean, the results can, doesn't always reflect the performances. I think it did on Saturday, but most important thing is, is we know what we had to do to get that performance and, and we have to try and do it again. I suppose like a lot of uh, matches in League One, no game, no games the same. You're coming up against a team in Ipswich Town that are going to be strong and probably up there at the end of the season. So you're going to be, you know, ready for that one. Absolutely. I mean, when you look across the fixture list at some of the big teams in this league, Ipswich is one that you pick out. You're a massive club. Um, you saw, I think they had almost 25,000 opening game of the season, and it, I watched the game, and it was amazing atmosphere. And, and you see the quality they've got in their team. It's high quality team that I, I guess will be hoping and expecting that they get promoted this year so um, we know it's a really really tough game but um, yeah, we, we treat each game separately we, we approach it and, and we, um, we we do our best performance in it that we can I suppose what is it about Ipswich for you as a, as a, as a coach I guess that you see as, 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 as a main threat going into this match I mean I, I think since Kieran's gone in there he's certainly got them playing some really good football um strong all the way across the park um, good without the ball they press really well but with it they're very commit a lot of numbers forward they're, they're very attack minded a lot of bodies into the box when they create crossing opportunities so certainly going to have to work very hard off the ball um, and then we're going to be very brave with it First home game for you um, first home league game for you uh, as, a, as a head coach how much are you looking forward to that one in front of, uh, of a home crowd? Yeah great I mean I've got a little taste of it against Newport a uh, small crowd but nice to be at our stadium and, and play there and uh, you know the pitch looked amazing that day and I know it'll be even better when we get there out there on Saturday so looking forward to getting in front of our fans um, support that we had down in Bristol Rovers was fantastic so looking forward to having it on home soil It's a new phrase through the door as well and Connor Wickham tell us a little bit about that signing and, and how that came about and you know what he'll, he'll add to this squad here Yeah I mean Connor's name was, was brought to us a couple of weeks ago and we spoke with Connor on the phone and, and then we met with Connor and, and had a really good feeling for him uh, he's had not had the easiest last couple of years one or two injuries and then when he has been fit with MK last year probably didn't play as much as he wanted to but we know his top level is extremely high um, we, we, we want to build him up so that he can perform well for us um, seems like a lad that's really focused on playing football now and, and was hungry to to join us and be a part of it um, and yeah I think we, we all knew that probably we needed to have one or two more certainly in that front end of the pitch where Matty Stevens is out for until January so we knew we had to, to make sure we get some support up there and, and I think it's a great addition.